Hi everyone. In, uh, in this video we're looking at how to convert fractions into percentages but we're also looking at what percentages actually are. Okay, so everyone's heard of the word percent um, but not, uh, not very many of us understand what, what they mean. So let's, let's take a look and then uh, practice how to convert fractions into percentages. So a few things about percentages that you will be aware of is that the sign that represents percent looks like this. Okay, it's a, it's a diagonal line with two dots. So whenever you see that sign, you know it means percent. But percent, the word, is made up of these two words. Per cent. Per means out of. And cent is anything to do with a hundred. Okay, if you think about the word century, it means a hundred years. If you've been to America and you think about the number of cents in a dollar, there are a hundred cents in a dollar. If you think about, if you've been to Paris or you've been to other places in Europe, in uh, euros you'll be spending. So the number of cents in one euro is a hundred. So the word cent is uh, related to the word a hundred. So per cent means out of a hundred. So why are percentages so useful? Let's take a look. Let's say you did two exams, two tests at the 11 plus center. So this is my first test, this is my second test. In the first test, you scored 40 out of 50. And in your second test, you scored 16 out of 20. And let's say your parents came up to me and they said, Mr. Chibber, uh, in, my, in the first test, my son or my daughter, they scored 40 out of 50. And the second one, they scored 16 out of 20. Have they improved or have they got worse between these two tests? So if we didn't know about percentages, we could argue that in this test, you scored 40 marks out of 50, which is quite a high score, 40 out of 50. And in this, mark, in this test, you scored 16, which is less than 40. There are only 20 questions. And in this question, in this uh, test, you got 10 wrong. And in this one, you only got 4 wrong. So it looks like it's an improvement. What do you think? Which one do you think you did better in? The first test or the second test? The truth is, you scored the same in both of them. This is 80%. Later on, you're going to learn how to convert fractions into percentages. So. Percentages are useful because they allow us to compare a number of different quantities or amounts by making them out of a hundred. Okay? So, just to recap, percent means out of a hundred. And there are, they, we use percentages um, with this sign. And also, they make comparing numbers very easy because we compare things out of a hundred. So the main part of this lesson today is to learn how to convert fractions into a percentage. So let's take a look. Before we actually start converting fractions into percentages, there's a few important things you need to know. Uh, it, it's quite useful if you write these down. These are a list of numbers which I've got here, and these are quite special. In fact, I call them friendly numbers. And they are friendly because I can very easily turn them into 100. Okay, I call them friendly because uh, they're easy to t they're easy to convert. How do we turn two into 100? We multiply by 50. How do we turn four into 100? Multiply by 25. How do we turn five into 100? I multiply by 20. I multiply this by 10. I multiply this by five. I multiply this by four. I multiply this by two. So these are friendly numbers because very easily I can convert them into a hundred by multiplying it by these numbers here. Okay, so that's a very useful tool that you need to be aware of and, it's, and I, would, I would write these numbers down in your notebooks or on a piece of paper somewhere. Okay, so if we were to convert a fraction into a percentage, um, let's take a look on how we would do that. Let's say we've got three out of 10. We want to convert this into a percentage. We want to convert this so that it, the final answer looks like this. Something percent. The first thing we do is we look at the bottom number. 
and we decide if the bottom number is a um, friendly number, then we use this technique. So in fact, all of the fractions that we're going to look at in this video will have friendly numbers at the bottom. So 10 is a friendly number, and this is my layout. This is how you need to lay out all your questions. And as you know from my previous videos, especially on ratios and other topics, this word here is extremely important because it allows us to see patterns in maths. It's all about laying out. If you try to do some of these questions in your head, you may struggle, but um, otherwise laying out makes things very, very simple. So we want to convert 10. We look at the bottom number. We want to convert 10 into 100. What number turns 10 into 100? 10 times 10. Whatever we do to the bottom number, we've got to do the same to the top number. 3 times 10 is 30. 30 out of 100 is the same as saying 30%. So you just do that. Okay. Let's take a look at another example. Let's do 4 out of 25. So is 25 a friendly number? We always look at the bottom number, remember, the denominator. Is it a friendly number? Yeah, it's on my list. We lay it out like this. What number turns 25 into 100? The answer is 4. So 4 is my magic number. So if the top number also gets multiplied by the magic number. 4 times 4 is 16. You can either leave the answer like this or a bit more grown up if you, if you do this. 16%. Remember, percent means out of 100. Okay, let's take a look at another one. Let's do 2 out of 50. Is 50 a friendly number? Yes, it is. So we need to lay it out like this. What number turns 50 into 100? The answer is times 2 because 50 times 2 is 100. So whatever we do to the bottom, we do the same to the top. 2 times 2 is 4. So the answer is 4%. So 2 out of 50 as a percentage is 4%. 4 out of 25 as a percentage is 16%. So here are three questions I'd like you to try. Um, if you are still an, uh, a little bit uncertain, a little bit not sure, go back, rewind the video, and just have a look at what we did, because it's quite a simple topic. Um, watch it again and again until you've understood. The main thing is to remember the friendly numbers. Remember how we convert the friendly numbers and what the magic number will be once we've identified the bottom number. In another video, we'll look at how we deal with uh, non-friendly numbers okay but in this video only we're looking at friendly numbers so pause the video have a go and then have a look to see if your layout and your method matches mine and most of all most importantly if your answer matches mine so pause the video now have a go okay so you've tried it this is how you should do it we lay it out like this remember that word from the last slide layout very important what number turns 20 into 100? 20 times 5 makes 100. That's my magic number. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do the same to the top. 6 times 5 is 30. That's 30%. 30, right? 30 out of 100 means 30%. We just write it like this. Lay it out again. What number turns 25 into 100? The magic number is going to be 4. Look here. What number... What we, whatever we do to the bottom number, we've got to do the same to the top. 7 times 4 28. Sorry about that. And this one again. Layout. Oops, sorry. Let me just finish this one off. 28 over 100, which is the same as saying 28%. You can write it like this, or you can write it like that. In another video, we're going to look at how to convert the percentage back into the fraction. We'll do that later on. But this video is just learning how to convert fractions that have a friendly number into a percentage. So what number turns 5 into 100? 5 times, sorry, 5 times 20. There's 5 times 20 makes 100. That's my magic number. Whatever I do to the bottom number, I do the same to the top number, times 20. 4 times 20 is 80. So you can write it as 80%. Remember again. Percent means out of 100. You can write it like this, or you can leave it as a fraction. But this is a bit more grown up here. So, I hope this video was useful. If, you've, if you're still not sure, go back, watch it again. If you are certain, then that's brilliant. 